Hi, Father Brian here for another episode of Bridging the Distance, a way for you to remain connected to Santa Clara as we shelter at home and are dispersed around the world. Today, we talked to one of uh, Santa Clara's great uh, teachers, uh, Father Michael Zampelli. He's a Jesuit here, uh, and he teaches in the theater arts and dance department. I've uh, been here for over 20 years. Uh, he's gonna talk about what it's been like to teach in this uh, remote learning environment and also to direct a play remotely. So uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy getting to know Father Zampelli even more. Well, here we are in front of the Mayor Theater, which is familiar territory to, uh, to Michael Zampelli, who teaches theater arts. So Michael, how do you teach theater arts in a remote learning environment? Very carefully. You know, one of the things that we thrive on in the performing arts is presence, you know, the physical presence of audience to performer. And that's what we don't have right now. So one of the things that's very challenging for us is to figure out what does it mean to be present and engaged with people that are not physically proximate. So I know you're uh, directing a play actually, right? So The Revolutionists. Uh, so how, what have you learned about presence by directing this play with four great actors? Well, so first I would say the commitment of the four actors who are in four different cities outside of Washington, D.C., outside of New York City, outside of Seattle, and in Los Angeles, uh, that commitment is the first thing that sort of is necessary for this sort of adventure. But also it's this notion that somehow we have to be open to understanding presence as something that is more spiritual and more creative than physical at times. And so that's one of the things that we're learning in our Zoom rehearsals to figure out how is it that we actually establish engagement and real genuine presence with one another. And, and human connection, right? Absolutely. And the arts seem to be a great way to forge that connection. What, what can the arts teach us uh, in this time of anxiety or sadness? Well, I think first off, I think they provide us with a world to which we can go to be refreshed and rejuvenated. Um, and I think we all need that kind of recreation. Um, but I think they also teach us to be creative in our own approach to the world, that somehow as we experience creativity, we're actually encouraged to become more and more creative in dealing with our daily, uh, daily circumstances. And so I guess maybe we all should look for ways to contribute or be creative, even in the environments that we're, that we're living in now, right? Absolutely. It, especially, it, yes, especially because the creation of community is so critical during this time in our lives. So uh, any, any words? To, to our students who are scattered about the world? Yes, first, I miss you. We all miss you here. Uh, and secondly, we all know what wonderful people you are, that you're fun, that you're creative, that you're resilient, you're adaptable. And so the challenges that we're facing are uh, nothing to you, really, that we'll be able, you'll be able to face them and you'll be able to come out of the, on the other side of all of this uh, with a great sense of yourselves and your connection to one another. So God bless you. All right, Michael, thank you. We'll look forward to seeing the, the revolutionists later on this quarter. Great. All right. Michael's uh, words remind me of Dostoevsky's uh, observation, the world will be saved by beauty, and indeed it will. So uh, thanks for joining us. We look forward to seeing you on another episode of Bridging the Distance. Take care and God bless.